We do want to give you another important warning if you're going to be hitting the roads. This one is uh, a bit more specific. Steer clear of big semi trucks. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has more on what to know, including how to tell if you're in a driver's blind spot. Driving too close to a semi truck like this can be devastating. Thankfully, that driver survived. But in 2020, nearly 5,000 people were killed in accidents involving large trucks. And research shows 78% of crashes or near crashes are caused by drivers of passenger vehicles. Experts say driving around a big rig can be particularly dangerous when vehicles spend too much time in one of the truck's massive blind spots. Watch as this red car drives below the truck driver's line of sight, becoming virtually invisible. And as the truck shifts lanes, <laughs> thankfully, there were no injuries. It's really important that drivers of cars realize that truck drivers can't always see you. If you're in a blind zone, make sure that you get out of it as safely and quickly as you can. So we buckled up and with help from the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute, get a glimpse of just how tough visibility can be when you're in the driver's seat of an 18 wheeler. Sitting here in the driver's seat, I'm checking the left mirror, the right mirror, looking in front of us, and it looks clear. But take a look at our drone shot. There are seven other vehicles and motorcycles all around us. There's a motorcycle in front of us, to the left of the truck, and another semi truck behind us, all sitting in blind spots. Large trucks have not one, but four blind spots, referred to as no zones. Since there's no rear view mirror, the no zone in the back can stretch 200 feet. The most dangerous area is to the right, where the no zone can span more than three lanes, which is why only passing on the left side, where the blind spot is smaller, is so critical. And once you pass, experts say wait until you see the entire front of the truck in your own rear view mirror before merging in front of it to avoid that often forgotten blind spot just below the truck's fender. There's a motorcycle in front of us. I don't see it at all. A fully loaded semi can weigh up to 80,000 pounds and at highway speeds can take the length of a football field to stop. A lot of times people will pass a truck get right in front of it and slow back down. And sometimes that truck driver doesn't have enough time to react. That could end in a rear end collision. The number one tip is to give them extra space so that that truck driver can respond to any unexpected event to help prevent that crash.